it's my pleasure to welcome Katie and Jules, the Ting Tings. Hey, how you doing? Good, thank you so much for, uh, well, gracing us with your presence because I've looked at your schedule for Australia and it is crazy. Yeah, we've not stopped all day, but it's quite good. We've got jet lag and we're tired and we've gone in this weird zoned out, which is quite a nice feeling. You just sleep anywhere. We're getting to see lots of Australia. Though. <laughs> That's a lie, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We saw a cockroach. <laughs> in a studio. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Wildlife. <laughs> yeah, we saw. And these weird bird things that are liar bird, isn't it? Yeah. It was just talking and he was like, what the hell is that? And then the guy explained that it was a liar bird. Why are they called liar birds? That's a good question. Can I come back to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they lie? I don't know. So how are you coping with the rigorous schedule? Because you've got like VMAs after this, you've got, you know, you go into America. Um, I mean, as you said, you haven't stopped. Yeah, um, not too bad. We, we went through a phase when we were touring the States last time where we got so tired that it was like, couldn't even speak properly, and then we, we calmed it down a little bit. But yeah, it's just, it's brilliant, because we're seeing the world and we're getting to play, you know, we've been playing a lot of festivals, so you're playing to like 20,000 people, which is such a bust. No matter how tired you are, mm. you know, you just sort of stand on stage and your adrenaline's going. So yeah, we, we're living a good life, but slightly tired yeah because it's a long way from your beginnings I mean you guys were determined to get to get this happening weren't you not really because we, we used to be but then we failed so many times that we gave up and just sort of I don't know just did it for we the tried, love of it and the last band that we were in together we tried really hard to make it work and it didn't and it went wrong we got so disillusioned that we just ended up throwing loads of parties and um, sort of earning money selling beer and all our mates were getting drunk and having a good time like that. And we just didn't think about professionally being in a band at all. We were just having fun. And out of that, about the sixth party on, you know, people just started talking about us, about the place to be in Manchester and the band to see. And it was really a total accident. We had two songs. Well, we had three songs that we used to play for half an hour. So each song was like 10 minutes long. And sometimes our friends would be really having a good time. Other times they'd be like, <laughs> change the tune. <laughs> but I think it was just part of our development at the time. We were just letting go of all the frustration that we'd been through. And that kind of saw us through that initial, you know, when you start, well, when you start a band, there's this kind of conscious thing that kind of makes you want to be a retro band or a punk band or something. And you make a decision about how the way you want to play or dress. And I don't think we went through that. I think we were just on stage having a complete laugh um, and just getting rid of that frustration. And then at the end of that, uh, manager who was working with the last band, he sent us on a five day tour of the UK. We were like, You're crazy, you know, we've just all we've been doing is partying. How can we do a gig with three songs? And just threw us in at deep end. And we that first gig we played where you, <coughs> you know, she was like playing a guitar and she asked the audience if they could hear a guitar. And the sound man told her to turn a ramp on. <laughs> we came off stage that night and we were really sort of sweating hot, and the energy was there. And we just wanted to get back on stage, and that's what made us sort of think about really sort of taking it on mm. again. So it's fair to say that once you actually stopped trying to yeah. be something and yeah. go somewhere and actually let yeah. loose and had fun, that's when it all happened for yeah. you. Yeah, I think when you, when you feel like you've got nothing to lose, it can be really, I don't know, I think it makes you more creative because you you take risks because you don't even feel like you're taking a risk because you've got nothing to lose. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I just hope we stay in that, that, even though it's gone really well, we really try not to be pressed. And just so then we can stay in that mind frame if we've got nothing to lose and, you know, keep a bit of, I don't know, just keep a blinker to it because it's quite a nice way to be I think. Well it's been crazy for you guys because um, we started nothing, your debut album came out. Luckily no songs, more uh, uh, the 10 minute songs aren't on there. Yeah, <laughs> no. 